Hey, what's up? I'm Inizalea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create an awesome solar eclipse in Adobe After Effects. Just like this one. Alright, so that looks really, really cool. And if you're interested in this intro template, a link will be in the description. If you buy it, it also helps to support our YouTube channel. And you can also dive in to see how it is made. Today I will be showing you how to create the eclipse itself, so I'm not going to be taking you through the entire thing. I'm not going to be showing you how to create atmospheric smoke or how to add particles to your scene. If you're interested in that, leave a comment below and I might make a tutorial on these as well. So definitely leave a comment if you want to see atmospheric smoke and after effects or particles added to your scene, because these really add a lot of dynamic movement to your scene. It just makes it so much more interesting to look at. So uh, really cool effects. Today we're going to take a look on how to create that really, really awesome solar eclipse in Adobe After Effects. So without further ado, let's jump in After Effects. in Adobe After Effects and let's take a look on how to create an awesome solar eclipse in After Effects without the use of any plugins, without the use of any footage actually. So okay, here we are, I will create a new composition and I'll make this full HD, so 900, well 1920 by 1080p and rename this to main comp or solar eclipse comp, whatever floats your boat. Make this around 10 seconds long, there we go, frame rate, I'm going to set it to 30 and click OK. And there we have it. OK, so I won't be going over the background. Like I said, uh, this will be a different kind of tutorial where the clouds are like moving, uh, which is a really cool effect, uh, but it's going to take too much time to put in one tutorial. So uh, we'll create another composition first. And in this composition, we're actually going to make this 1920 by 1920. And we're going to rename this to um, solar, well, actually the sun. So we're going to um, be creating our sun. Click OK. And here I want to create a new solid layer. So go to layer, new solid layer. We're going to re well uh, create a white color here and rename this to sun one. Click OK. And then right here in our mask tool, uh, the rectangle tool, we're going to click and hold and select our ellipse tool, then double click on the ellipse tool, which is going to make an entire circle. And then on one of these dots, we're going to double click it and then we can actually hold control, shift and alt if I'm right. And there we go. So now we can actually drag, it and drag this in a little bit to make it a little bit smaller, just like this. OK, so here we have our circle in our composition. Just hit return on your keyboard and now you should have something like this. So now what we want to do is actually play with the feather of our mask. So right here, we're going to open up our, uh, well, our mask expansion here. Uh, we're going to open up our mask settings and we're going to increase the feather to something like 500. Okay. Now what I want to do is go over here to the effects and presets and search for an effect called rough and edges. And I really love this effect. You can use it for so many things and you can apply this to your, um, so, well, solid layer and you will have something like this. So what we want to do here is play with the border, maybe change it to 500. And then for the sharpness on the edge, we're also going to take this down maybe to 0.1. In the scale, we can play around with the scale a little bit. So maybe we want to scale it up to uh, around 150. And for the complexity, we want to change this to 10. And there we go. So now we have a lot more detail going on here. And this is pretty cool. You can really play with these settings, go and see what you can do, um, play with the random seed if you want. What we will do is also animate this a little bit. So we'll hold Alt and click on the stopwatch for the evolution. And here we're going to write time times 50. And this is going to animate it just a little bit. So uh, it looks like um, the flames are kind of moving a little bit, uh, as you can see right here. Okay. So this is our first layer. We're going to close everything down and then we're going to click on our layer, go to edit, duplicate, and we're going to use this one as well. So we're going to um, press F on the keyboard and just lower this to something like 50. And we're going to solo this layer so we only see this. Uh, 50 seems about right. And then for the border right here, maybe also changes to like 50 or a little bit higher, maybe 350. 
Okay, there we go. So now we have a second layer looking like this and combined with the other one, we have something uh, similar to this. What we want to do here is make the first layer a little bit bigger. So we're going to press M twice on the keyboard to reveal all the mask settings. And we're going to play with the expansion here to make it just a little bit larger than the first skill, uh, well, the first effect right here. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to click over here on this solid layer and just duplicate it once more. So go to edit, duplicate, and we're going to use this one uh, a little bit better. So um, solo this as well, press F on the keyboard, change it to 25, and maybe right here we can change it to 75. See what that gives us. Maybe this is a little bit too low, maybe 150. And there we go. So this is going to be our sun. Uh, looks pretty good to me. And now what we want to do is also unsolo this, but we're going to play with the opacity for these two layers. So select both of these, press T on the keyboard and change it to something like 50%. So now we should have something similar to this. You can still play around with everything. Maybe you want this to be taken down to 350. Uh, maybe you want to play with the expansion a little bit more to make it a little bit smaller in here. Uh, play with the detail. It's completely up to you. Um, but let's continue our tutorial for now. So go back to the main com, go to your project manager and drag in your sun composition in your original composition. There we go. We're going to make this a little bit smaller. So hold shift to make it smaller and fit into your composition. Now we're going to create another solid layer. So layer, new solid layer. We're going to make this black in color and also for the width and height, we're going to set this to a square. So 1080 by 1080 and uh, rename this to eclipse and click OK. Then double click on the mask again on the ellipse tool right here to make a perfect circle. And there we go. Double click on that circle and make it as big as you want it to be. So maybe a little bit bigger than our sun. And there we go. Hit the return key on our on your hit the return key on your keyboard, press F on the keyboard and maybe feather it something like five pixels. So we have a little bit of a, a feathering going on and also apply the uh, rough and edges to that effect. And we're going to click over here. So you actually don't see toggle the mask. So you don't see the mask. So you can actually concentrate on this effect. Um, maybe scale this up to like 250 um, or actually I like 100 and maybe play with the border to 25 and this to 0.5. Maybe something like 50, not too obvious, but just to give it some kind of um, a rough and well surface. Uh, and it's also going to be moving. And what I want to like replicate right here is the um, the heat of the well of the sun behind it. So uh, also the complexity, we can take it up to 10 and also hold alt and click on the evolution stopwatch time times 50 just to animate it a little bit. OK, there we go. We have our eclipse can make it maybe a little bit bigger, move it a little bit on the side here to create something like this. Looks pretty cool. So now what I want to do is go to my project manager and down here you will see that we have 8 BPC, which is bits uh, per channel. So we're going to click on that. We're going to change this to 32, which is going to allow us to work with a little bit more color. And this is really going to work well with glows and, and really rich colors. So click OK once you have done that. Nothing should be changing right here. Uh, click on your sun layer right here. And what I want to do here is actually use a third party plugin, uh, but it's completely free uh, just to set my color. It's from Video Copilot called VC um, Color Vibrance right here. And if we're going to use that, uh, you get this kind of uh, really nice gradient in there. And you can still do this with curves and all these adjustments, but this is so easy to do it. So I will put a link to it in the description. It's completely free. Just install it and you will be good to go right here. I want to set this to a nice red color here and click OK. And as you can see, we have some yellows in the highlights and some reds in the darker tones. This is just going to make it a little bit richer, in my opinion. OK, so this looks really, really cool. Uh, what I want to do now is actually create a new adjustment layer. And right here, you'll also need to download something. I'm going to rename this to Perfect Glow. And Perfect Glow is one of our presets that we have available on our website. It's completely free, so also a link in the description. But this allows us to get some really nice um, glow. So Perfect Glow, I'm going to apply this to my adjustment layer. And there we go. And as you can see, this instantly makes it look so much better. So you can still uh, play a little bit more with all these settings here. Um, maybe change it to like 0.1. 
not too obvious. And there we go. So this looks really, really nice. Maybe set this to 40. And maybe we can set it back to uh, 0 0.2. Or 0.12. Okay, cool. So without the perfect glow and with the perfect glow, so you can really see the difference here. It makes it so much richer. And actually, that's basically it. So what I've done here is clicked on my ellipse tool, press P on the keyboard, clicked on the stopwatch for my position to actually add a keyframe here, move it over the sun, just like this. And then all the way at the end, I actually moved it away from my sun. And of course, it's completely up to you on how you actually work with these colors. Maybe you want it to uh, look a little bit richer in color. So what you can do is in the sun layer right here, you can create an adjustment layer on top of it and add a curves effect. and just lower the highlight here. And if we go back, you'll see what it's uh, going to do to our sun. So this is just going to make it a little bit, um, well, it's going to delete some of these um, higher highlights. Okay, so this is pretty cool. And that's basically it. And of course, if you think you have a little bit too much of this um, fire going on, just trim down the feather and the border of your rough and edges and you'll get different results. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also subscribe to the channel for more and definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer. Links will be in the description. And apart from that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.